Hello everyone. E se você não sabe inglês, você se lascou desse vídeo, me desculpe. And Olga, you must be wondering why I'm speaking English when you are Russian and you speak Portuguese. And the reason why is I don't even believe you're going to see this video. And I, I want to share some thoughts with some people in China, Russia, Iran, and even the United States. And I want to tell you a little bit about Brazilian hatred. Brazilian hatred is this. This is how we hate each other. This is how we hate groups. Um, we are angry, we are mad, we make comments. And most times these comments are from machines, not even people. Fake accounts that flood people's pages with uh, hatred. But this is this kind of hatred. And I want you talk a little bit about this people gather in churches and they need belonging and the best way to get belonging and engagement is to have common goals like heaven paradise and common enemies and enemies are really important to consolidate people in the group they belong to and we are very creative about them because this enemy cannot be real so people are very brave and very angry in their groups even churches political parties whatever this is and they are always very angry and ready to fight the evil as long as the gate is closed because when the gate opens and when you come here uh they might hate the idea of you but they are not going to hate you specifically and so in churches they will say devil wants to take you to hell and you will be taken to hell if you're homosexual so we hate homosexuality and this needs to end this needs to stop because the enemy needs to be taken away from homosexual uh, from gay people bodies but when they go home when parties over at the church they go home and they have gay friends they have gay employees and employers and when when you ask one of them why are you so kind to people that you say you hate when you are in church they will say yeah he's gay but and when you say he's gay, but it means that the gate has opened and then you could see a friend in there. And this is very important to avoid trouble in Brazil. Because when people say you're from Russia and you were from an authoritarian and communist and Nazi, <laughs> people call you Nazi, or whatever they call, they don't even know the meaning of these terms they whatever they say about eastern countries like china and russia they want to mean bad and you cannot go for the etymology and for the real meaning of the world the word because it's empty they just want to convey that these countries are bad either because they are authoritarian communist whatever because they need to be at the good side and being at the good side is what make them strong together and hopeful about a bright future that is always about to come, even if it never comes. So when you get attacked by the people, no, in waves like this, know that uh, many political parties might need to attack you because they need to engage their people because these people need a common enemy they can attack. It's not something actually against you. So machines will start throwing comments on your channel and people that belong to this church let's say political party they will read this and they will feel like punching you even harder and after all the machines make the wave the waves of attacks and in, in, in the comments real people will come and they will add their comments just because they're silly stupid followers of 
uh, these parties that need engagement. Never forget that when you get attacked by waves of comments like this, the gate is closed. And this is why they're barking. But when you see a Brazilian around your house, in a supermarket, in a restaurant, and they realize that you're Russian, then the gate will be open and you will be a person. So on the internet, even people who don't watch your channel, because if they watch it, your channel, they would know you and they would recognize you as a person and they would never attack you. So people who attacked you were either machines or people who don't know you and followed the machines because they belong to the sect. When you meet people and they know your content and they know you, uh, they will see you as a person and they will love you because Brazilian people have nothing against the people from anywhere in the world. Uh, we were built uh, by refugees running away from war. First World War, Second World War. We are mostly war losers because you have people from Italy, Japan, and uh, we, we all get along here. And when people say, my parents are from Lebanon, my parents were, uh, my, my grandparents were Jewish, this means nothing to us because we all get along in peace here and we are really angry at the government. But when, even when you have a friend in politics who is a politician and who takes advantages from their position, we, we don't see them as an idea with a closed gate anymore. We see a person and with an open gate, we feel happy that they live a good life because they take advantages of the governments and they, they are actually taking advantage of the corrupt system that we hate. But when we know the person, we love them and, and we can invite them for a party or for dinner or for a barbecue or whatever. So we might be stupid and we are not the only ones. See the Americans. See people from Argentina calling us monkey. I, I cannot hate people from Argentina because they are just retarded in essence and they keep calling people monkeys because they were touched by their parents and grandparents just to, to do so. And they, they don't do differently because they don't realize it is pathetic because everybody around them is doing the same thing. And then in Brazil, People might be saying that you're evil, you're bad uh, because you are Muslim or because you're Russian. You represent an idea, but don't give up on them because when the gate is open, they will see you as a person. And it doesn't matter from where you are in the world, you'll be welcome. And, and we love to share stories and culture and we love this interchange we have it and, and you, you i know you realize that the the gates and the doors were always open for you and they will remain open as long as you don't uh start fighting back don't, don't fight back because this is you know these comments they are not even people you know good people so stick to them and and give us another chance and tell everyone in your country that they can do the same. It doesn't matter from where people are. When they get here, they will be just people. And you're welcome. Anytime.